Hello and welcome to the 3D. Today we are going to create this kind of smoke effect in Unreal Engine 5. Let's start with downloading and importing the smoke texture that I provide in the descriptions. I should mention that it is not a must to use this texture. This is a simple smoke image with a transparent background. So let me close this and let's start with right clicking on this area and create a new material. Rename it as smoke material and open the material graph by double clicking on this. First, let's change the preview mesh to a plane. It is just a visual representation. Then select the default material node. This is where we connect all the nodes that we will create. But first, let's change the blend mode to translucent, shading model to unlit, and finally, enable the two-sided option. Now, create a texture sample node. Let me move it a bit. Then go under the details panel and select the texture that we have imported. Let's also create a particle color node. Without this, we are not be able to control the color of the particles. Now create two multiply nodes. You can also create it by holding M on your keyboard and left clicking on an empty area. Great! So now we can connect the alpha of the texture sample node to the input B, alpha of the particle color to the input A, then output of the multiply node to the opacity. This is what we have done so far. So let's finish it by connecting the RGB of the texture sample node to the input B, RGB of the particle color to the input A, and finally output of the multiply node to the emissive color. Perfect. We are done with the smoke material. Let's save this and close the graph. Again, right click on this area and this time create a Niagara system. Select the first option and click on next. Now you can create an empty system, but instead I will use a font and template. Select this, click on the plus icon and hit finish. Let's rename this as smoke NS, which means Niagara system. Open the system by double clicking on this. On the left side of our screen, you should see the particles are moving and this is how they are coming with the font and template. Before we start, let's go under window and click on the preview scene settings. At the right panel, disable the show environment option Change the background color to a bit darker gray. Then you can close the preview scene settings. As you can see, it was just a visual settings that will help us to see the particles clearly. First, let's think about how smoke works in real life. It doesn't fall down, it always goes up. So we can start by deleting the gravity force. Select the gravity force and hit delete on your keyboard. Now, the particles are constantly going up, but they are too fast. Let's go under the particle spawn and select the velocity. In the details panel, speed attributes are already set to random range float. So make the minimum speed 100 and the maximum 200. 
Okay, the particles are slowed down, but this is still not enough for us. So, go under the initialized particle settings and change the minimum lifetime to 1.5 and maximum to 3 seconds. Now, our particles have longer lifetime, but they are too small. Let's make them bigger, but first make sure the sprite size mode is set to random uniform. Then change the minimum size to 20 and maximum to 40. Great, we are getting something and it's time to add the material that we have created. Select the sprite renderer and change the material to the smoke material. Give the engine 5 seconds to prepare the shaders for us. Ok, our texture now visible in the Niagara system and I want to add one more setting to this. Click on the plus icon next to the particle update and find the scale sprite size settings. This setting will help us to play with the visibility of our smoke. In default, scale of the particles start with a zero value and goes up to one. Let's click on the plus icon and add a keyframe to the middle. Select this keyframe and make the start second 0.2 and leave the scale value 1. Now select the first keyframe but this time leave the start second as it is. Make the scale value something between 0.1 to 0.5. Great! Now we can select the last keyframe, then change the value of the start second to 1. And also right click to the keyframe in the middle and select the auto option to make the animation a bit smoother. If you are happy with the result, save the settings and test your Niagara system by adding it to your scene. The effect looks nice, but I want to play with the color of this smoke. So, open your Niagara system again, go under initialize particles and change the color to a dark grey by playing with these values. You can also give different colors to the smoke by changing these values. If you are happy with the color, Save the settings and check the result. I think we can make this a bit more darker grey. Change the values, save the settings and here is the result. If you like this tutorial and want to see more content on this channel, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.